If you love a nice pile of mashed potatoes on your plate, but you're watching your carbs, use cauliflower instead and this technique, and you will have the most delicious, creamy, thick mashed potatoes or mashed cauliflower. Welcome to the Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. And today we're gonna make a very simple but delicious mashed cauliflower. So this is a really easy recipe to do. You need one head of cauliflower. Mine is about two and a half pounds. Anything between two and a half pounds to three pounds will work perfectly fine for the ratio of ingredients that I'm gonna add to my mashed cauliflower. However, if you have a smaller head, you can use the same technique, then just back off of some of the ingredients that I add at the end. If your cauliflower is a little bit heavier than that, you have three and a half pound head of cauliflower or even four, that's okay. You can still do the same technique, same time, you just need to increase your ingredients a little bit. All right, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is add one cup of water to the inner pot and the basket is in. So I'm gonna put my cauliflower in the basket so that it keeps the cauliflower up off of the bottom. The main problem when you're making a mashed cauliflower is liquid because cauliflower has a lot of liquid in it. Then if you try to boil it in liquid, it's just gonna become a runny mess. So this is the way it's gonna work the best. Then I simply just cut it and you don't even have to be too particular about the way you cut it either. I like to cut mine in half. And then take my knife and just run it right along the edges here. And I've already rinsed this. So you do want to rinse it off. And then just throw them in. So you can see they're big. They're big florets. It's perfectly fine. Just throw them in. Any small ones, perfectly fine. Throw them in. You can break them off too. But it is easier to cut them off. And then just do the same thing the rest here. Once you have the cauliflower in the pot, then you wanna dice up one onion. It can be sweet, red, or anything you'd like, and dump it on top. Now, that's optional. You do not have to add onion. However, I've tried it both ways. I really love the flavor that the onion imparts into the final mashed potatoes. And there's no texture, so you don't have to worry about that. You're gonna have a smooth, creamy cauliflower mash when we're all done. So put on your pressure lid, make sure the valve in the back is to the seal position, select pressure, high is what we want. We wanna to go to five minutes and hit the start button. Once the pressure is built, which is gonna take somewhere between eight and 10 minutes um, for it to build up, then we'll go under pressure for five minutes and we'll do an immediate release and then the magic happens. Once the pin uh, drops down, you can open up the lid. Always do that away from you. It's gonna be very, very steamy. Then just lift the basket out, set it on your cutting board, and dump the liquid out of the pot. Return the pot to the Ninja Foodi and dump in your cauliflower. This is the secret, if you will. Okay, so turn your Ninja Foodi, well, it's still on. Switch over to the sear saute and hit start. So what we're gonna do now is dry up the cauliflower. It got really moist under pressure cook and it released a lot of its own liquid, so we need to burn that off. Now, sometimes I will take the cauliflower out and I'll put it in like a little mesh bag, one of my flour sacks, and I'll squeeze it, but it's super hot and it's super hard to do when it's so hot without burning yourself. So this is just an easier way that I found to do it. So what I do is I take my mix and mash, which you can use anything, wooden spoon, anything you like, and I just sort of mash it up. It should be super soft right now. If it's not really soft, then you need it to pressure cook a little bit longer. Maybe your florets were much larger than mine, but this is very soft. And I'm just gonna mash it up and I'm gonna let it saute. I don't want it to brown or anything like that, but I want the water to be burned off using the sear saute. So this takes about five minutes and I constantly stir it, but trust me, it's worth it. The end result is amazing, thick, and fluffy even cauliflower mash. I mean, it tastes just like mashed potatoes to me. I absolutely love this recipe. So 
So you see these little bubbles here forming. That is the moisture coming out of the cauliflower and then it's gonna turn into steam and dissipate into the atmosphere. So once those bubbles are no longer happening, you know that you have reduced your cauliflower enough to have it nice and dry. All right, that looks good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Ninja Foodi off and you want to remove the pot pretty quickly because if you just let it sit there, then you might get some browning on your cauliflower. So I'm gonna pick it up and dump it into a glass bowl here. I'm using a glass bowl because I wanna use my immersion blender to make these really, really smooth. If you wanted chunkier mashed cauliflower, then I would just leave it in the pot and just uh, continue to use whatever utensil you were using and you can add your ingredients and finish uh, making it right in the pot. But I want mine super smooth. I want this to have the texture of a really light and fluffy mashed potato. So I'm gonna put it into a bowl and then to the bowl, I'm gonna add about a half to one ounce of Parmesan cheese. This amount does not matter. You could add more cheese, less cheese. The more cheese you add, the stiffer your mashed cauliflower is going to be. The less cheese you add, the looser it's going to be. So usually I go for about a half to one ounce, and I don't measure this. I eyeball it, but you can certainly measure it if you'd like. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm adding salt and pepper as my seasoning. You could add whatever you like. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of sea salt fine grind and a half of a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, now let's get some real flavor in here. I'm using one bulb of roasted garlic. Roasted garlic is very mild, it's on the sweet side. This will not have an overpowering taste of garlic, but it is, oh my gosh, so delicious. If you have not roasted garlic before, use your foodie to roast it. I'll have a recipe that I will link below and also right up there for you guys to make it. Oh, it's so delicious. You can make several bulbs at a time and put it in all kinds of delicious food. And then because it's so soft, you can just squeeze it out. There's no need to peel it or anything. That's why, another reason why I love using it. It's super easy. All right, so once all the cloves are out, in there like that, then I'm gonna start to mash it up. But first we have to add butter. You knew that was coming, right? I mean, come on. We can't have decadent mashed potatoes without some butter. And then what the other ingredients that you add are really up to you. Well, any of these are up to you, you know, completely. But I like to add a little bit of cream and a little bit of sour cream. I found that those two additions really made a nice, flavorful, delicious uh, mashed cauliflower. But you want to be careful. You don't want to do too much of the cream or you'll end up undoing all that you did when you sauteed these mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed cauliflower. I, I call them mashed potatoes all the time because they taste just like it. So to this, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of sour cream. Cream cheese would be nice too, so it, that would keep it a little thicker even. And about a tablespoon of cream, not too much. I might even start off with, with just a half. In fact, I'm gonna start off with a half, and then I'm gonna grab my immersion blender and blend it up nice and smooth. Now, I tried to make it really smooth with a hand mixer, and it just did not do the trick. If you have a high-speed blender, you could let this cool a little bit and put it in the blender and get it nicely um, processed, you know, so it's real nice and smooth. But I like to use this and it works great. All right, that looks fantastic. Now, I do want to taste it for seasonings. You always want to salt and, and season to taste. So let me get a little bit here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe a little more cheese, but other than that, oh, absolutely delicious. They are creamy. They are so flavorful. Perfect amount of garlic. Great flavor with that onion. But of course, you know, sometimes if you're on keto, you don't, 
you don't want to eat onions, just skip that. It's fine. Add in that extra little cheese. Now, the other thing you can do with this is you can make it to this point, put it in a casserole dish, top it with some extra cheese, and bake it. That's delicious, too. I've done that with leftovers. But for a nice side dish of mashed potatoes, this works perfectly fine. I hope you love this recipe. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments how you like it. And as always, make it yours, make it delicious, and keep it real.